Welcome back to Home Video, this is James. So today I'm having a look at the 1987 exploitative horror anime film Wicked City. Uh, it was directed by Yoshiaki Kawajiri. He made a few films, uh, Ninja Scroll. <laughs> Uh, Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. It's not easy to ask him for this, but it's something that must be done. It's about my sister. Two nights ago, she disappeared. They're quite graphic films as well. You know, in terms of anime, for me, I like, you know, the more graphic, the better. I've never really been into, you know, like the Dragon Ball Z or Pokemon, things like that. I, can't, I found they were a little bit kind of, you know, just babyish. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, when it comes to anime, you really want as hard hitting as you can get. And uh, Wicked City, there's really only one word for it. It's wicked. Uh, you know, go on the old '90s slang there. It is wicked. It's um, the art director in it uh, was uh, Katsu Oga. He also did uh, he did a lot of the paintings for uh, you know Spirited Away, uh, My Neighbor Totoro, uh, which is a really good anime as well. Really enjoyed that one. So the plot around Wicked City basically revolves around um, a peace treaty between Earth and the Black World. Two cops, one male and one female, are uh, assigned to protect a diplomat who will help secure another treaty for the two worlds. But you know, there's a, a radical group of demons that are basically trying to take this uh, this diplomat out because they don't want peace. They want to basically cause carnage and mayhem. Uh, and it's basically up to the two the two cops to you know save the day, and they end up forming a, a bit of a a relationship as it goes along and uh so this is definitely not one for the kids this is uh it's r18 plus and for good reason there's a lot of there's a lot of shock horror going on there's uh there's basically a bit of soft porn in it animation soft porn uh there's there's bloody violence uh it's everything you want in an anime really back in the 80s there was a big vhs boom and some of these graphic animes, you know, the Americans wouldn't want to distribute them, so they, you know, basically ended up straight to VHS. And then you'd find them on TV late at night. Uh, and that was where I was first exposed to some of these graphic movies. And they were, yeah, really disturbing. Like I said, um, one of the ones I remember was uh, Battle Angel Alita. <laughs> Basically, these two characters are trying to get from these the slums down below up and into this world uh, up the top. And uh, Hugo basically dies, and then Battle Angel Lita puts his head onto a robot. And then towards the end, he he's trying to climb up this big pipe to this world. And there's these oscillating blades coming down, and basically the blades take him out, kills the lead character off. And it's for me as a kid, it was you know really disturbing seeing this in, in an animation. Until this moment, my life was a cosmic joke. My entire existence, pointless and unnecessary. Coward! There's more to life than scrap iron city and solemn! Don't you know you're my secret dream, Hugo? We can find a way! Begin a new life! <sighs> we could. Huh. You go, go, go! But, you know, in the same sense, you, you remember the film. Um, you know, years later, they they obviously remade the film into a live action, uh, directed by Robert Rodriguez. If I go back down there, I'm dead. No, you have to listen to me, okay? I've been right here before. This is exactly where Nova wants you. He's using you to get to me. Come on, we have to go back down. We belong up there, Alita. We don't belong anywhere except together. There's one character in this, the diplomat, he's just very creepy, uh, I really didn't like him at all. Uh, he was just, he was like a pervert, uh, and there's a, a scene in it where he goes to a whorehouse, and uh, you just see him basically like sucking on this woman's boob. Just creeped me right out, I just didn't really like his character at all. 
Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you in case you do watch it. Uh, but I, I recommend... See, this is the scene I was talking about. This is the guy. Uh, just a pervert. It just creeps me out. Don't want to show, you know. Uh, you know, but, you know, the full thing, the full movie is on YouTube. Uh, I don't want this channel to get taken down. With the fate of the world lying in the balance, his task is simple. Protect a man's life for 24 hours. I'm putting you in charge of guarding him. Who is this person? Mr. Giuseppe Maillard. Guard him without fail, because as far as the radicals are concerned, if they can kill him, they'll control everything. Thrust into a world of supernatural treachery, his only hope that his new partner is as good as she looks. Top agents from opposite worlds, they're the last defense against the anarchy of the black world. For the life of me, I can't figure out why you're my partner. What you mean is why your partner is a woman of the black world. The twisted beings from the other side will do anything to stop them. Look, it's definitely a film worth checking out if you enjoy gory animes, uh, graphic animes. But, you know, an anime with a, with a story and a bit of heart as well, then definitely worthwhile. Uh, I actually haven't seen Ninja Scroll, I'll check that out. But it's kind of along the same line as Akira. Um, yeah, really enjoyable enjoyable film if you don't mind this kind of thing so look guys alan showed me the analytics on the channel and you know turns out a lot of the people that are watching these videos aren't subscribed so we're gonna have to get all anime on you please uh you know, like and subscribe this is james signing off from home video channel